goodness. So what did you bring me? So what we have here is a paddle eye design in conjunction with Abominable Electronics. And I had this idea for a cartoon mosh pit. You know like when you mosh and you have like pit beef? It's like, yeah. it's like not real beef, but it's just like, you moved over there, what I wanted to move over there kind of beef. So like what's the ideal pedal for a mosh pit? It's probably something based on a crate amp. <laughs> so I took a, <laughs> I took a crate amp and um, made it into a distortion pedal. And we've got actually two versions of the pit beef pedal. We have pit beef and pit beef deluxe. The small three knob version of pit beef, that's just like meant to be it's just a straight distortion pedal. That's just got volume, distortion, and mid-range. So it's just like, when I mean, you think about mid-range as like a contour control, like more mids suck. So you've got like lots of, lots of mids, no mids. So if you really want that crate tone, you want Scooby. no, you want to scoop them out. And then the Pit Beef Deluxe has a lot more knobs and a lot more artwork. And there's a better, <laughs> better illustration of me skanking. I love um, this. And uh, You only get like half skank over here. <laughs> But the deal with the Pit Beef Deluxe is that um, it's more it's more full feature. Like there's a full EQ. The slope control is sort of like mid frequency. And it's three channels. Bypass turns it on. Boost, which, so that's sort of like the clean channel. And then boost is like the distortion channel. And then shape is like that special, super ugly crate shape knob. So I made that part of it switchable. So if you want to get that like really ugly crate sound, you can. But if you want to just take that final filter out of the circuit, you can just not engage that that section. And we've made it so that it functions a bunch of different ways. So if you want to use it just as a distortion pedal, you can go out here, which bypasses some of the output stages. Um, okay. Or if you want to use it as a preamp, then you can run from this output directly into a power amp, and you can bypass the whole like preamp of your amp. And then you can amp. make it a true crate. True crate. And then the other thing, you can also just use it as an 18 volt straight JFET boost, which is oh. which is fun too. So this is really like three pedals in one. Sweet. So let's hear how it sounds. Yeah. Wish your shit was that heavy. So what do we got? We've got a bunch of DIY PCBs. So a while back, I went to NAM and I was like, oh, everyone's schmoozing here. Like, wouldn't it be cool if I had a cool business card? So I, I had my friend Nick uh, who does Dunwood Champs designed for me a little business card PCB called the Brutalist Junior, which was a junior version of this idea I had in the incubator called Brutalist. And then I got the DIY pedal building bug as a result of that. And I started like designing all these other pedals. And um, That's interesting that it kind of inspired you to do yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't, I mean, I've always been like a DIY kind of person, but like I had, I didn't do well in electronics in college. It like inspired me to kind of like overcome that that learning barrier that I've always had with it. So I've got um, call it the A team. There's like the core members of the A team, which is like Hannibal. It's like an it's an overdrive, and then there's Baracus, which is this blue one, which is a fuzz. Um, there's Face, which is this black one. It's a different type of fuzz. And then there's Murdoch, which is the wild one, which is like a Boss HM2 style EQ that is fully maxed out and then has like a clean blend. I had the idea that people would sort of make their own super pedals out of these things, using these circuit boards not just as standalone pedals, but as building blocks for uh. super pedals. Like maybe you stick a Hannibal and a Murdoch in the same enclosure and make a really interesting overdrive pedal that allows you to also do HM2 EQ. And these are all mods that people can do on their own, like come up with on their own? Yeah, it's not that hard to do. I mean, there's obviously there's some basic skills with like soldering and all that that you need to learn. And um, 
these are not like super detailed step-by-step -step instructions. It's more just like, it's intended for people with like that have built a pedal or two or and have used like the more like basic step-by-step -step instructions. Like the Brutalist Junior, for example, has like very detailed step-by-step -step instructions about everything to do to build it, where these are like a little more light, light on the instructions. But it's not really super hard to do. You just like learn to solder and connect point A to point B a few times and then you get a pedal. And the first one I want to show you is the sparkly green one, which is the face PCB. Face is basically a fuzz face style circuit that also has um, a JFET mid boost in front of the fuzz circuit. <laughs> So it cleans up pretty good. Um, this is volume, fuzz, and mid. It's mid boost only, so right now the mid boost is out of the circuit. And then the switch controls, um, lets you change for a few different capacitors and um, for different frequencies of mid boost. So like the middle is the brightest one, so let's hear what that does. <laughs> Tell me about this one. This is the Hannibal? This is sort of like a DIY version of my Rift Child overdrive pedal. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a little di it's a little different, um, it's a little more simple. We got volume, we've got gain, and then we've got what I'm calling bass and treble, but the bass control is really, uh, it's like a high pass filter. Turning down the bass gives you more gain and a tighter sound, whereas like turning up the bass gets, it's like a looser but more transparent kind of sound. It's like not like a particularly glamorous pedal, but it's like a super useful pedal, especially in front of a, a tube amp. And the way that I've really always used gain pedals is just like cranking up the output and keeping like the, the gain pretty low and just sort of punishing the input of the amp. And, and this is like a great way to do that. It's like kind of a classic sound. And it's also like a really super easy pedal to start building. And there's a lot of opportunities to do, to do mods on it, to dial it into exactly how you want it to sound. This is a good entry into the PCB world. Yeah, I would say that's, of all the pedals I make, that's probably the best place to start. So, good rock and roll pedal. That loud is like the greatest loud. thing about that pedal. <laughs> it is. Every time you you dimed it, I like giggled. That's how I know <laughs> when the, I love From the something. sound or from the icon? No, this icon is pretty great. This is the Shruggy. Yeah, well the Shruggy is a band reject filter. Oh, if, like I, a, if I didn't like have a, a head. If the like Shruggy didn't have a head, it would be a mid scoop. The loud control is a, um, a passive Baxendahl EQ circuit, which effectively cuts mids, boosts bass and treble. So basically the controls in that thing, typical level distortion, the edge control is sort of similar to the bass control on the Hannibal overdrive that I showed you earlier. So when the edge is cranked, um, it's starving the bass going to the circuit, which tightens things up. Whereas like when the edge control is all the way down, you have more low end being let into the circuit and it's a little bit looser. Um, that control is subtle, but it is really effective. And it's, a, it's the best way to like sort of match your guitar to the amp. A thinner guitar will get thicker down here and like a overly thick guitar will get, will get really articulate when it's up here. And who's this? Well, that is the big sibling to BJR and Brutalist Jr. 
This is brutalist. Same like the, the BJR, I've got level and distortion controls, but instead of the loudness control, we've got high and low EQ on separate controls. In addition to that, we have the secondary switch, which engages a bandpass filter at the input of the circuit and an all-pass filter at the output of the circuit. And that's used for making really disgusting new tones that um, I've not heard out of another distortion pedal before. This also, uh, this pedal also runs internally at twice the voltage of this. It's still a 9 volt input, but internally it's running at 18 volts, which gives the, uh, the EQ a lot more headroom. Oh, okay. So let's check out these weird ass filters that I came up yeah. with. Brutalist! Do you want to go get ice cream? Um, it's a little late for ice cream. I was just joking. Oh. So if I had said yes, you wouldn't take me to ice cream? That would be so <laughs> mean.